Hi there, this is Mark Rayner from Prime Consciousness. That's PCW911.com. This short video is designed to answer one very important question. What is consciousness? If you've listened to me for even a short period of time, you will know that I talk about consciousness a great deal. Consciousness and where it's focused defines our primary reality and the quality of life we live. So it's very important to understand what it is, how we lose control of it, and how gaining control will literally change our lives. To begin our understanding of consciousness and how it relates to what I teach, I want you to understand the layers of reality. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. Our physical bodies are equipped with sensors that provide electrical feedback to our brain. The two most important of these in our experience of the physical, of course, are hearing and sight. To use a metaphor, imagine a TV set in an empty room. The room represents our mind and the TV set represents electrical signals coming in from the outside. Of course, we're talking about sound and visual information as a TV provides. Now this metaphor is a representation of our physical experience only. There needs to be something else in the room or the mind to experience it. This is where consciousness comes in. Now imagine a room, TV with pictures and sound, and a person watching. The room represents the mind, the TV represents the outside input, and the person represents your consciousness. Now there is a consciousness to experience and make sense of what is being presented to the brain stroke room from the outside world. It has been scientifically proven that you do not see with your eyes, you see with your brain. The eyes merely provide the data for the brain to see with. This is the empty room with the TV. The consciousness is that which knows and experiences what is in the room. Okay, good, so far I hope. Using this analogy, I want to use this to demonstrate what has gone wrong with humanity. The problem is that the consciousness in the room is so absorbed by the external images and sounds that it believes it is the room. It believes that it is the TV. And it has no separation from the images and sounds. So what that means is, is essentially, that the consciousness has completely lost awareness and is completely absorbed in the TV. The consciousness has no idea it's even in a room, totally focused on the TV, making that primary and the room has vanished for the consciousness. Worse still, the room that represents the brain has a voice of its own and a series of pictures of its own. And very often that voice and those pictures are based on past negative experiences. And that is also fed directly into the consciousness, giving it the sensation that the consciousness has no choice and no separation whatsoever. Whatever the brain thinks and wants, it gets. In a sense, there is no room for the consciousness anymore. All external and all internal signals are directly fed into the consciousness, overwhelming it and hypnotizing it. This is why depression, addiction, trauma and any number of human problems maintain their dominance over the consciousness. The consciousness does not even know that it is a separate being from the flesh and the mind and is in fact what we call spirit and is in fact the true real us. Yes, that's right. Your consciousness is your spirit and it's been mesmerized, hypnotized and in a sense hijacked by your physical computer called the brain. This is the purpose for true meditation. I say true meditation because many meditations take you deeper into the mind and the consciousness is lost even more. What we want to do is take the consciousness out of the mind, but a form of separation from the mind that places the consciousness in a position of observer over the mind's activities. Back to our metaphor. The room is the mind and the TV is the pictures and the sounds. 
When we meditate, we awaken the consciousness to realize that it is in a room and the pictures and sounds can just be simply observed as something that is separate from the consciousness. In this place, the consciousness can consider that which the mind is presenting and it becomes the one who makes the choice on what to do with them instead of the mind dominating the consciousness and telling the consciousness what to do. So where does the consciousness come from? Consider this. In the beginning, at some point in time, a physical being was created. But it was only a very, very complex biological robot. It could move around and do what it needed to do, but it had no self-awareness and no ability to know that it is even experiencing anything. This creation could have only been formed by a fully aware consciousness because the intention to create is a product of a fully self-aware consciousness. We call this great consciousness God. But how can you reduce that which is at the root of all matter, all life, all spirit to a three-letter word? Only a brain would believe that it could do that. Upon creating mankind, this consciousness gifted mankind with the greatest gift of all. A consciousness with the same quality of consciousness as the Creator. As the Judeo-Christian Bible says, made in the image of God. This means our consciousness is in the image of God's consciousness, for God is not a bipedal human. This is why it's so important to regain your awareness of who you are and your true origin. God is spirit. Consciousness is the manifestation of spirit. Our spirit is from God and our consciousness is the result. In the current state that most people find themselves in, their consciousness is blindly hypnotized by the flesh, lost in the TV with no awareness of the room. Once we learn to awaken our consciousness, we also awaken our connection to the divine. Our consciousness awakened, in union with the divine consciousness, is its true state of being. In this place, it has full awareness and control. I truly hope you found this video inspiring. I offer free one-week workshops online once a month, where I explain deeper how to awaken your consciousness to its true origins. I invite you to visit my website and sign up for my next free workshop. It can be found at pcw911.com. That's P for Peter, C for Cat, W for Water, 911.com. pcw911.com. Thank you very much for listening, and please visit my website and sign up for the workshop, and I look forward to meeting you in the future. Thank you, and goodbye.